dear friends we are in dhammapada stanza number 183 the stanza that we are going to discuss today very famous stanza among the buddhists sabba papas akaranam kusalas upasampada sachitta pariyodapanam etam buddhana sasana brief meaning of this stanza is not to do any evil to cultivate good to purify one's mind this is the teachings of the buddhas in the dhammapada this might be the most important stanza this is a summary of all discourses all discourses delivered by the buddha 84000 discourses had been delivered by the buddha this stanza is a summary all about vinaya sutra and abhidhamma sabba papas akaranam kusalas upasampada sa chitta paryodapanam etang buddhana sasanam in this stanza sabba papas akaranam sabbam papam sabba mean all papa mean evil deeds akaranam don't do all even evil deeds don't do in here particularly you should understand what are the evil evil deeds this is very important evil deeds how you can recognize evil deeds as you know generally people think breaking precepts is a evil evil deeds that's true better to get some teachings from the original discourses delivered by the buddha it means suttas in raulo are the sutta the buddha has given some explanation to understand to recognize to clarify evil evil deeds how ಅಥವ್ಯಾಪದಾಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟ
wisdom, then you are not able to abstain from that particular things which is harmful to you. Which is harmful to you. Eating sugar is harmful for our body. We know that. Generally, most of the people who has some kind of thinking ability, they know that. But unfortunately, they are not abstaining from it. Why? Because they don't have wisdom. Wisdom is the most important thing for us as a Buddhist follower. Not the knowledge. We have knowledge. But if you don't have wisdom, then you don't have that energy with you to stop that kind of uh, evil deeds. These all are evil deeds. All, all these are, we can consider as a evil deeds. Why? Which is harmful to you. Which is harmful to you. And which is harmful to others. Is basically if there is something harmful to you because we are living in this society with others if something bad happening to you then it will affect to us. This is very general. Just think about yourself. You are living in your family with others, your family members. When you get sick just think about you. You have called. You got called. Don't you think is, is it not affecting to others? Sure, it's definitely. It will affect to others. Sometimes you might, you might pass that virus to others or some kind, of, some kind of restrictions would be there. This is the way how we are blocking others, their practice and also their general lifestyle. So in this manner, the Buddha advised us, Sabba Papa Akaranam, don't do any evil deeds, evil deeds, evil deeds, harmful deeds, which is not useful, which is not helping us for our mental health and physical health. Don't do this. Don't do this. This is very simple. Then what we should do? Kusala Sampada, Kusala Sampada, cultivate wholesomeness, good. What are the wholesome things, wholesome deeds? We can turn, we can use this formula, which is useful for you, which is useful for others, which is useful both you and others. Those are wholesome, very simple. This is the formula that we should use to recognize evil deeds and wholesome deeds. So when you take care in, when you are take care in your health, your mental health and physical health, which is very benef benefits for you and same as others, your family members, friends, relatives. Just think about when you get sick, you are working a company. Company means you are working for the society. When you get sick, then that will affect your job and also that will affect your service. And particularly today, we are facing a big trouble with COVID-19. As you know, some areas, some countries it is very, very dangerous and critical for them. Why? You did not take care of yourself and you became a center to spread that virus. As you know, and scientists explain, one person can at least give that virus to five, five people then you are the center. Why they did that kind of uh, such a nasty things? Because of their ignorance. They have knowledge, but they don't have enough courage. They don't have 
wisdom basically so they said that uh, evil things with others therefore we have to recognize evil deeds and wholesome deeds then what should be the wholesome activities there that we can apply protect ourselves first think about yourself protect yourself follow the rules and guidance take all the precautions yourself to protect your body and you can protect your mind too when you are taking precaution particularly with this virus today actually i got a wonderful chance to listen to one of uh, very i mean a baby baby means maybe 4 years 5 years old girl she was giving some advice to her father she was telling father you know this not only the virus that we going to face today we have a vi- uh, covid 19 virus but in future there might be so many other viruses that is exactly correct with the scientific scientific explanation so she was explaining to her dad dear dad we have virus but this virus to protect from this virus we should have clear mind we should clean our mind if you are not able to clean your mind that would be the most dangerous things that is true we know by experience last few month in this world people were not able to follow the health guidelines that's why this is spread this virus is spread very badly why because of their greed and because of their ignorance because of greed and ignorance loneliness is kind of blessings according to the buddhism loneliness is kind of blessings the word that buddha use uttaritara huda kalav this is the noble silence noble silence is the things that are appreciated by the buddha so if you have that opportunity become a lonely person it is blessing for you it is blessings for you but unfortunately because of our ignorance and desire we are not ready to accept that loneliness in this manner why we don't have wisdom we have knowledge but we don't have wisdom no one trying to develop their wisdom also that's the main trouble in the world through education you can develop your wisdom through education what you are doing just you are collecting information what you can do with your information information are everywhere just go to google you can find any information in the world each and every corner last year or previous year i was hearing one student's speech at their graduation ceremony that the student was uh, was very thankful to google not the teacher not the professor in the university google how all information that you need just you can search through just you can put the imp- uh, uh, the name there and you can get all the information through the to google is happening so to recognize evilness evil deeds you can get some information from google but you it which, which is not helpful to increase your wisdom you can get knowledge about evil deeds and wholesome deeds that's, that's completely 100% sure but no there is no any evidence 
to gain wisdom. Gain in wisdom is something belongs to yourself. My wisdom not helpful to you. My wisdom is not helpful to you. It is, it is the nature. Therefore, friends, we should pay full attention to gain wisdom ourselves. So, first thing, understanding evil deeds and paying full attention to away from those evil deeds, which is very important. And Kusala Supasampada, use each and every moment to gain your skillfulness to do good deeds, to accumulate wholesomeness with you. When you are in that kind of stage, you can be happy forever. In here, don't do evil deeds directly connect with Vinaya Pitaka. Accumulate wholesome deeds directly connect with the Sutra Pitaka, according to the Buddhist explanation. And the third one, Sachitta Pariyodapanam, to purify one's mind, to purify one's mind, purify your mind. This is completely connection with Abhidhamma Pitaka. Abhidhamma Pitaka. We are living under the guidance of mind. Mind is the leader. Mind is the forerunner. We do everything under the influence of our mind. So we having this knowledge, we have obligation to uplift our mind to increase, to develop our thinking ability. Controlling sensual pleasures, increasing our concentration, we should use each and every opportunities to increase our thinking ability. Thinking ability. Concentration is very important there. Concentration. When you are living with concentration, you have kaya viveka. You can relax through your body. Your body is relaxing. And chitta viveka, you, can, you have relaxed mind when you are concentrated. Your mind is relaxing. Also your body is relaxing. Upadiveka, and also you can free from uh, unwholesome situations. Unwholesome situations means there is no opportunity to do any kind of unwholesome activities because your mind is tame well. Your mind is tamed well. So because of outside thing, your mind not get upset. These are very important. Now you can see what does it mean taming your mind. Taming your mind. So mind is a leader for runner. So when you able to calm down your mind, then you have opportunity to think very deeply and widely. In Anguttara Nikaya, the Buddha was explaining what are the various activities, various way how mind get pollute. As you know, there are five hindrances which is caused to have a wicked mind. Polluted mind, sensual pressure, karma chand, vyapad, ill will. Karma chand, vyapad, uddach, uh, proud, or conceit, kukuch, 
स्लोत एंड टॉप विच के चार डाउट ऑल दीज फाइव हिंड्रेंसेस आर डायरेक्टली पोल्यूटिंग आवर माइंड नो वन कैन रिपोर्ट नो वन कैन स्टॉप दैट when you have a polluted mind then you are blocking you you already block your thinking ability thinking ability the buddha use simile for that if you have clear water there in in the pond you can directly see the base of your well your pond that water might covered by some kind of uh, uh, plants which is growing surface of water then you can see the base of the pond and there might be some situation with uh water already boiling water is boiling so you can see the base water had mixed with mud then you can see the base water is way water is uh, increasing with the waves here and there then you can see the base so in this manner same way when your mind is not calm you can see things as they are very clearly same as the water so dear friends that is the reason that buddha advised to us sachitta pariyodapanam purify one's mind purify one's mind sachitta pariyodapanam then how we can purify our mind to purify our mind very important thing is developing our concentration this is the base before we start concentration we have to be aware awareness awareness through that awareness we can develop our concentration mindfulness through mindfulness we can develop our concentration concentrated mind samasati samasamadhi then directly path to wisdom directly path to wisdom how we can gain that according to noble eight pole path as you know first step is samadhi you should have right vision right vision vision is very important as you know all each most of organization they have right and mission uh, sorry uh, vision and mission for their organization perhaps sometimes schools universities they also have vision and mission even bhavana we have vision and mission so according to the universal uh, truth what kind of vision that we should have that vision is very important there are two ways one is directly connect with the uh, eternal truth other one is directly connect with conventional truth according to according to the noble eight pole path first we should have conventional truth conventional tr- conventional truth means someone should have confidence oh yes i have my parents my mother and father i know this life and right after this life there is one this is conventional truth i know come this is conventional truth if you have this conventional truth use in this conventional truth you can open your mind to gain universal truth universal truth is not something that is pure noble truths that is universal truth so then first thing you should have 
very clear vision samaditti what is that vision you know in this world right after this there would be another birth if you are not attain enlightenment is universal whether you believe it or not it does not matter this is the universal nature you know perhaps some other people they may not able to think about this they think this were this life is eternal or sometimes they might think uh, after this life there is no more life they have that concept but our i mean uh, universal truth is life after life if you are not attain enlightenment so we should have that vision we ourselves in this very life now i have a human life i am living as a human being this is conventional not absolute so after this life according to my karma they are going to, they are going to have another life this conventional truth so you should have this clear vision so i believe the karma karma is the universal law no one can change whether you believe come or not it does not matter that universal law is existing it is the law universal law it is unique for each and every living being no one can change no one can change therefore friends first we have to have that vision then we can start our mission samma vacha samma kammant samma ajiva samma vayam samma sati samma samadhi then right after you can attain enlightenment that is wisdom so now you can see why the buddha advise us to control our mind develop your mindfulness why the buddha why the buddha advise in this manner because our goal is to attain enlightenment that is our goal attaining enlightenment mean realizing the truth universal truth that is the mean of means of enlightenment so to come to that conclusion as a first thing we should have clear vision clear vision is very important for us then we can apply the mission therefore these advices are very important for us whole buddha teaching is here don't do evil conventionally you can recognize killing is still in all these are evil doers but basically you can think which is harmful to you which is harmful to others and which is harmful to both determine yourself i am not wanted to engage with these kind of activities mentally and physically and kusala supa sampada cultivate your wholesomeness first you can cultivate your wholesomeness through your mind when you are cultivating your wholesomeness your loving friendliness thoughts are increasing your compassion thoughts thoughts are increasing your sympathetic joy and equanimity is increasing in your mind this universal truth then you can live happily and peacefully in this world because you are full of loving friendliness thoughts compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity then sachitta pariyoda pranam it is easy to control your mind because you already tame in some degrees your mind now you you have lesser you have you have lesser because you are you are tame in your mind sachitta pariyoda pranam etam buddhana sasana this is the teachings of the buddhas not just one buddha not just this advice coming from sakya muni gautama buddha the buddha the buddhas who was in this world all the buddhas have same teachings there is no difference because universal truth is truth there is no second universal truth 
So all the Buddha's advice is this. This is the way how the Buddha's teaching categorize and also how the way the Buddha's teaching flow each and every time. Buddha appear in this world to give these lessons for us, give this guidance for us. So this is the path for our own liberation. This is the path for our own liberation. Whether you are talking about Mangala Sutta, Ratana Sutta, Karaniyamitta Sutta, Vyagapajya Sutta, uh, any other discourses, it does not matter. Everything is in here. Everything is in here. So therefore, friends, we should pay full attention to come to this level. We should practice ourselves, come to this level, and then we can liberate from this sansara. Not in this very life, even the sansara, we can liberate with the help of all these advisors. Therefore, friends, let us practice, determine yourself, develop your energy courage to apply this method because this responsibility belongs to us. No one is here for our own liberation. We have to work for that. I think that would be enough for today. Thank you very much for your participation. Let us use this opportunity to share merits with others. First of all, think about departed relatives, friends, family members, and pets who departed name of us. By the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. Having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Whoever is affected by COVID-19 and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May or may they all be well, uh, able to get rid of their suffering and pain, having that aspiration, make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metta thoughts. May you all protected by all these COVID-19 and any other sicknesses. May you all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. By means of this meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be from the higher realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs>